Howdy folks. I haven't been doing the readings every night, but I'm going to put a few up when I can and thought I'd do one today. Grab the new book, Million Billion, which is now available for pre-order. 256 pages of short essays. And I picked one at random, just opened it up, and it's called Deer Strike. How oh, very exciting. 35 years with a Wisconsin driver's license and against all prejudice... Off to a good start. 35 years with a Wisconsin driver's license and against all prodigious odds, I have never hit a deer. And then in brackets it says pause while Ryder goes down to pole barn and knocks on a whole pile of wood. Okay, we're back. Yeah, never hit a deer. <clears throat> now then, I have been hit by a deer twice. First time was a couple years back. Only brand new car we've ever owned. I was traveling down a long hill at full double nickels when a doe flashed out of the ditch weeds at a right angle to my direction of travel and went head first into the rear driver's side door. There followed a terrific whomp, and when I got the car stopped, I anticipated the worst, but when I did the walk around, there was no deer to be found, and the car was impeccable, save for a trout fly's worth of whitetail hair wedged in a seam between the wheel well and rear quarter panel. I assume what you had there was a testimony to luck, plastics, and borrowed time. Whatever, it's the kind of mystery I accept happily, and without question, I drove on. Then last month, this is a couple years ago, then last month I made a run to the neighbor's place after dark. I was driving our 1994 Chevrolet Silverado plow truck, a sturdy beast of long duration and decent sheet metal and equipped with a radio that glows green while it plays old country music after dark, which whoops your podcast any day. And I will admit to you that I was taking full advantage of the posted legal limit and Whalen was going full tilt boogie when a deer emerged in the adjacent lane moving at the same tempo and in the time it took to register on my retina, dove directly toward the truck. In the instant, I eased to the right a touch, but having responded to more than one ambulance call in which someone tried to swerve around a deer and got the worst of it, I didn't jerk the wheel and the deer made impact just behind the left front wheel. There followed a not, not a whomp, but a wham. So literally in the moment of reading this, I've discovered a typo in the book. There followed a not a whomp. It should be there followed not a whomp. I think that one actually snuck through into the newspaper when this ran. There followed not a whomp, but a wham, and then a second wham. The second wham transpired a door's thickness from my left shoulder and made me sit up real straight. In fact, I may have given myself a spontaneous chiropractic adjustment. I regret to report the deer did not thrive. For that matter, neither did the truck. By the light of my cell phone, I could see there had been extensive damage done, but by the light of the following morning, I discovered that the damage stretched from front to back, caving the front quarter panel, the door, and the bedside panel. Furthermore, the mirror was shattered and bent around backward. As the truck is accidentally insured, I took it to the body shop. By the time the appraiser finished, his clipboard was sagging. Then he tallied up an estimate, which, if approved as submitted, will allow me to purchase my first Tesla. In the interim, I rumble along in our rumpled Silverado, my window down three inches, won't go down any further now due to the deer dent. The old green glow radio playing as I drive my zero deer hit streak into its 36th year. Knock, knock. <laughs> still got the streak alive. Truck's still running. It's still all dented. It was one of them deals where the insurance guy said, yeah, we'll pay you a little bit for that damage, then don't ever talk to us again. <laughs> See you later. Forward.